Welcome to this video number 34, which is about estimating single equation and why OLS estimator will be biased in such a case. Monte Carlo simulation of OLS, Monte Carlo simulation of OLS to SLS using Excel. Simultaneous equation, uh, uh, simultaneity bias, and I shall share this Excel spreadsheet source with you. You can download exactly the same sheet and you can uh, carry out all the things which i will demonstrate here so the, uh, the purpose of this video is to show you that if you are going to estimate single equation model when there is simultaneity when there is endogeneity why there will be bias that bias we are going to study in practice by using data which we already know and that's I am going to demonstrate you in uh, here that we have basically uh, two equations. Uh, usually we study demand and supply equation in uh, uh, the, 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 the demand and supply equations, but here I am uh, discussing a slightly different example. Enforcement spending is equal to gamma naught plus gamma one crime rate. Increasing crime rate will lead to enforcement in spending increase. That is more the crime rate, there will be more investment in policing and in other uh, equipment. And But what's the issue? Issue is that if you will invest more in enforcement spending, that means there will be better enforcement there, which means it will lead to lower crime rate. That will lead to endogeneity issue. So crime rate in return depends on enforcement spending and Gini is coefficient of inequality. As I have uh, downloaded this from Bretto and Bretto Introduction to Econometrics, I shall uh, give you these uh, 10 pages uh, MS Word notes and uh, this Excel spreadsheet uh, uh, source. Uh, 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 Gini coefficient is purely exogenous variable, higher the income inequality, more the crime rate. So when we replace this uh, crime rate here, when we replace here crime rate, we have basically crime rate, when I replace it here, we get this equation enforcement spending. And when we replace enforcement spending here, we get this crime rate. So you see here error terms are mixed up. So it means crime rate is a function of enforcement spending and it means crime rate and these two are, uh, are correlated which leads to simultaneity bias. So how we are going to estimate this and how we are going to carry out Monte Carlo simulation and all that, let's be with me. Let's we have this data and we have this gamma naught gamma one standard error and all that uh, so we have all this and now you see we are basically generating standard errors here this is basically based on one standard deviation and standard error related here uh, epsilon enforcement standing uh, the spending that will be here and you see this is the same equation which we have calculated here, uh, this one. Enforcement spending is equal to gamma naught over gamma one and all that. And if you look here, so here in the formula bar, you will see the same thing as we have here, gamma one, beta one and all that. So we have uh, used different values of gamma one, beta one and all that. Now we are going to regress. These are 20 values of enforcement, spending, and crime rate, and these are simulated values based on these parametric values. We have estimated linear estimation. Linest is the function, and we have calculated this function. Okay, we cannot change one cell when we have array formula. This is the standard error. This is uh, R square, and these, this is degree of freedom to 18. 20 minus one, it's uh, sum of squares of residuals. Now, if you look at this model, here you have basically minus 0 0.005, whereas actually this value is 0 0.02, means 
if you increase if you increase uh, there will be an increase in crime rate there will be spending uh, 2% more spending in enforcement and but here you have minus 0 0.005 which is biased what i am going to do here in uh, the, uh, the, uh, here i am going to show that it will be, it is very uh, there is significant bias here we are going to basically simulate this number 1000 times and we'll have a simulated distribution of this one so this is minus 0 0.005 is for one time if i do this second time press f9 again press f9 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 so you see every time it's not going towards 0 0.02 it's biased that's that we are going to generate here i am going to do it in front of you add-ins basically the book the source i'll show you from there you can download monte carlo simulation add-ins and if you go to monte carlo simulation add-ins you will have here monte carlo simulation add-ins so you can use that monte carlo simulation to generate this data to simulate this data and this will show you that uh, this this ols estimator is biased here it is minus 0 0.008 and standard deviation is 0 0.03 so you see actual coefficient is 0 0.02 which should be here whereas what we are getting most of the times that is minus 0 0.008 so it is highly biased so it is highly biased because we are getting results around here whereas 0 0.02 is here so therefore these results are highly biased sorry for a little pause i try to this uh, use monte carlo simulation add-ins so here i am going to basically run this monte carlo simulation add-ins and you will see that uh, this uh, this this will be in front of you and you have minus 0 0.08 and 0 0.0075 and uh, this is highly biased whereas uh, actual results are uh, 0 0.02 which is here but your standard error uh, but your uh, your main, mo most of the times your uh, th this is the frequency so maximum number of times your results are around minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.02 and 0 and between minus 0 0.02 so these are biased results so let's let's move forward this is how you can see and no we come to that why this bias what happens so basically if you see the actual relationship should look like this positive sl upward sloping curve uh, which is red line between crime rate and enforcement spending but when you regress it is negatively this dark red line it is negatively sloping why is it so because you are basically ignoring the simultaneity bias because uh, your enforcement crime rate is basically function of enforcement spending shocks as well so if you trace any single observation you have here uh, the, the, this gini coefficient is basically sorted out if you use 19th observation and you trace this this one observation uh, if i press f9 look here so 19 is moving 19 is moving like this way and if you trace all this trace one observation look here what happens i am now instead of 19th observation i am going to trace out second observation okay we have we need to basically uh, tr uh, give the observation number i am going to write here two so you see ah wow wow dancing but dancing in opposite direction if you take two observations you see again i am going to take first and 19th observation what happens again press f9 Hmm. these are also dancing but opposite direction so trace two observations look here number two and number four okay hmm. so trace two observations number one and number eight 
okay mm. you see 18 and 19 if you press f9 hmm. if you trace the whole data you see these these strips pink strips are opposite direction are moving in opposite direction so why this bias let's see let's click on this y bias if you uh, make this one zero these strips will become vertical why because you don't have any uncertainty in enforcement stand uh, enforcement uh, uh, error shock so it will be it will be it will be uh, the, uh, the, uh, there will be no bias or if you place this beta 1 equal to uh, 0 again there will be no bias and you can see here so why bias click on this i shall share this excel spreadsheet i am saying it again and again enjoy it by uh, and understand this so you see here if you change these values if you change this this okay this scroll bar if you change this uh, 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 this uh, uh, standard error and all that you will get uh, you will get basically uh, different results and so this is this is how we are uh, this is why we are getting biasness here so we can see that the level of bias that that basically depends on the uh, a standard error as uh, a error term in enforcement spending or beta 1 if beta 1 is 0 it means crime rate is not uh, enforcement is not basically affecting crime rate so this you can see uh, vertical bias and all that so let's go back to our uh, main file and here you see all you have this one for example if i place it 0 so it means this will lead to okay uh, press f9 for every uh, for anything okay if this is zero so this will lead to there should be no bias okay slightly still vertical strips i'll see, we'll see okay L let's go so you see what is going on that if you are estimating it one by one equation the original one is the, the, with increasing crime rate you should have more spending in enforcement but here if you are estimating it by a single equation it will lead to opposite results it will show you negative results it will lead to bias in gamma it will lead to bias in gamma so again you see we have changed these values uh, so, uh, of uh, standard error of epsilon uh, is, uh, enforcement and all that that's why these these results have no changed slightly so if you again we are back to the original one now what to do that's why we need to estimate in uh, two stage least square we use instrumental variable regression and that i am going to demonstrate i have already uploaded very comprehensive videos video number 29 to 33 on instrumental variable regression and i hope this will help you in understanding the concept so in this case first of all we are going to regress crime rate on gini uh, gini value that is this one from this we'll get predicted value of gini so you see here we have regressed g to 22 on d22 g22 was your crime and d22 were your gini values you can uh, you can go uh, back and see this screen and we have here predicted values okay here we have predicted values and what are these predicted values look here so these two this is your intercept the blue one this uh, pink is your uh, slope coefficient and our predicted value d22 is basically gini coefficient so these are your predicted values so instead of using crime rate values we are going to use cr hat value x hat value p hat value so that it is now that part of uh, uh, cr which is free of this uh, the epsilon enforced stand, uh, enforcement as a spending error so now you will have again in sec at second stage 
we are going to regress enforcement spending on these predicted values of crime rate instead of regressing on crime rate. And you see, this coefficient is very close now to 0 0.02. If I uh, do it, uh, if I repeat it, F9. So you see, it's no not, it may not be very biased. And if I do its simulation, again, the same way, I am going to simulate this cell and we let's proceed okay you see it is 0 0.022 so you you got the point that why we get biased results when there is endogeneity issue you can explore this simulation you this is basically two sls this this simulation which we have done now this is basically two sls simulation the previous one which we have done that was OLS. OLS results are biased when there is endogeneity. You can explore these uh, things. I shall share, uh, okay, from where you can get this, go to uh, basically, uh, wait a minute, I, I'll share you link here. I shall share the link below this video as well. I shall share the notes uh, basically uh, uh, for this lecture as well. Uh, thank you for watching, take care.